All right, here's a video of the Turkish get-up, which we've done many times before, and we talk about them all the time, and for good reason. It's just such a great exercise. Um, this is a progression that we were using a kettlebell, uh, an upside-down kettlebell, or inverted kettlebell, as it's sometimes called. Um, and basically, it's the same movement of the, that you would normally see with the Turkish get-up, just um, the instability of this uh, kettlebell being held upside-down uh, changes everything. All right, so um, you can sort of see it here, and it's... Yeah, the the uh, the instability that it creates through the not just the the wrist but the wrist is usually the first thing that breaks down but elbow the shoulder and the rest of the whole body having to sort of work out the strategy on how to get up um, is very very important for this exercise so you'll see Nathan here he goes left handed first and he's a right hander and really having to pay close attention to this kettlebell. Um, you know, he's got great, some great form, you know, and this is, a, by the way, if you haven't seen the videos on this before, I, I really struggle to find an exercise that is um, so multi-dimensional as this in terms of its needing its stability through the shoulder on the ground here in a closed chain, the shoulder on an, in an open chain, so it's moving everywhere, this one needing great stability to, in order to be able to stabilise. The hip here is needing having huge mobility. There's an adduction and external rotation, um, uh, and you're needing trunk stability. It's just so many things on the go here. It's incredible, and even in the standing up phase, um, you'll need some glute strength as well. So there's some glute strength there on the lowering phase. Um, incredible exercise, you know. So if we just play it again on the on the right hand, now he switches it. Um, Always start with a quite a light weight. Don't go straight to a heavy one on this. Uh, just get your technique right. I'll probably stick with maybe three reps on each side tops. Um, you know, I find if you do too many, you just lose form. So there's the hip extension there, so which I didn't cover before. So hip extension. So he needs hip mobility on the other side. He needs good glute strength on this side, plus stability in the shoulder there, stability in the shoulder there, stability in the trunk there. So you can see why we love this exercise so much. And there's the there's the hip mobility where he had to move his leg. And there it is in the lunge. Now he needs incredible strength to get up, but still maintain his stability. And by adding the kettlebell upside down, it just increases the difficulty of the entire exercise, gives us a bigger bang for our buck, and it usually in the areas where people are the weakest, which is the stability. All right, so a great exercise you can use in your training, great way to progress um, the difficulty of the exercise, great one for anyone who's sort of moving towards the end of their shoulder rehabilitation training or even through hip mobility training so um, yeah, it's an excellent exercise to use all right so i hope you enjoy that and we'll see you on our next one